Tila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... Administrative district, I need to tell Jabard and... Serve, huh? Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you, help me out here! Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. Let's settle hey, then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Bellubok's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Uh, you drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Oh, this. Wait, did I reach 30? And we got a new phone. Oh boy, this was something. Now, oh, oh, defense and maybe something. Oh, look at <laughs> you guys may not know, but she's my sister, so he actually very good with the lens. Yep, this is gonna be her default one. the effects of the battle just now? Let's go ask around. You were just with us, defeating the bus. Wait, Blaze immunity? Isn't that... Uh, who are you? Oh.
Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. The Supreme Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the Stellaron. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <sighs> Kakolia. In order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Yep, we fight a giant robot. on the back thank you i can't even imagine what you've been through up there i'm just glad everything turned out all right oh, what about zila don't worry she's all right it took a big toll on branya so zila took her over to the guards oh good i'm so glad you're all okay now that kokolia is no more I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? Hmm. She sees things through, and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Who's guilty? Hmm. Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly... <laughs> This should be Wildfire's final mission. Why is everyone in such a hurry? I hope nothing's happened at the hotel. We should take a look. Maybe we can help. I see Gertie! But who's that lying on the ground? Quick, let's head over! Oh my, this doesn't look good. Can you hear me? Are you okay? Oh, so this is the one is gonna the one that appear for one cutscene. He's still breathing. T -t Try not to panic on Gertie. Is everything okay? Wait, isn't that Peak? Don't tell me he fell asleep in the middle of the road again. Oh, it's you three. Back in the underworld so soon? Word must have gotten out that I was renovating the hotel today. Being the kind-hearted young man that he is, Pete came straight over and offered to help. There we were hard at work when all of a sudden the hotel started shaking. I got everyone outside as fast as I could, but I think Pete was hit by a ceiling tile. I 
don't think that's necessary. Look, he's awake. Huh? Oh. Peek, are you awake? Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Easy now. Take your time. Oh, oh my back. Oh, I was having such a great nap. How did I... Are you okay, bro? Let me take you to Natasha's clinic. Hey, look where he was lying. What is that? It's... an old photo. I thought I lost this ages ago. How did it get... Aunt Gertie, isn't that you in the photo? And old Goethe, too. You look so young. Who's Goethe? Don't I know it. My distant cousin had only just taken over the family business at the time. He wrote me a letter inviting me to head up and take a look. It's been nearly 20 years already. <sighs> I remember chatting in the hotel lobby and drinking tea. I wonder if we'll ever get another chance to do that. You know, we've got some good news for you, haven't we? Is that true? Bronya, she... I... I can't believe my ears! I... <laughs> I don't know what to say! Turns out things aren't always lost forever. It feels like better days are finally on the horizon. Thank you all so much for coming to tell me the good news. I haven't felt like this in a long time. We'll get plenty of guests staying at the hotel again once the passageway is open. But there's no way I'm letting them set eyes on this old place looking like this. Oh, and we're gonna need to expand the menu. Oh dear. Action stations! Action... stations? Already? Uh, um, uh, oh, ow, oh, my, my head. Please, let Dr. Natasha know not to worry. We're all okay. You three will have to come and stay again once the hotel is fully renovated. Mrs. Who is this? Oh my god, we have hashtag. Oh, too much. Hey, hey. Oh, Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not going to solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Oh, 
Oh, I think he was open to the boss fight. Oh, is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. <laughs> I'm flattered. Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Ranya doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Svarog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. You have visitors, Clara. Oh! It's the variables! Look at her face. Huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparks said it must have been recalculating. Conclusion Engine of Creation 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The underworld and the overworld will soon be reunited. Okay, I may be... I may forget or avoid a detail, but when did the robot join us? Wasn't controlled by Kokoya. Which means that you, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but, but now, Mr. Sparog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm going to go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. You already did this. You are my first five son. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. Who's calling me now? Huh? Bunny? Oh, um, don't tell me. She actually is like not uh, used to technology. Let me read it, fine. I'm really curious how texting between Bernie and C you're gonna go. That's our Branya! Quick as a flash! <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it! You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? Uh, 
I don't know how much of a celebration will be happening. <laughs> but I know Hook and Clara will be pleased to sit with you. <clears throat> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. A return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <clears throat> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. Then when you're ready, let's go home. Who are you? Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you! The liberators of the underworld! You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Relax, relax! In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever... Uh... Anyway, none of them were serious. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? Oh. No problem. Oh, so who do I actually speak with? Oh, that, that was just was. Okay, I guess we're gonna go up. So, ready to... Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather around. The cable car passenger service is about to restart! Did you have to say it to my ears? Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! Oh, this is nice. <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> so this is... the overworld? The air here smells... Different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. Funny, the moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. I almost forgot we can actually do this. Look at this city. Beautiful. Phew, right in the last second actually. <laughs> 